What's up guys, Silver Green back at it again with my second ever painting video. Once again, this isn't really a tutorial, but if it helps you out in any way, then that's fantastic. This time, we're painting the three other characters from the core box set, Carlos Oliveira, Mikhail Victor, and Nikolai Zinoviev. I'm doing all three of these guys at the same time because other than their poses and how they've kind of customised themselves, they're all basically wearing the same uniform. Much the same as Jill, I started off by base coating them with Mechanica Standard Grey. As I forgot to mention in my Jill video, all the paints I used are from the Citadel range. With the Troublesome Trio all base coated, I started off by painting all of their jackets and shirts at the same time using Death World Forest. As always, I thinned down all my paints before I used them and applied at least two thin coats. Next up, I painted the trousers of our UBCS friends using Rakarth Flesh, but I made sure to leave the knee pads exposed to be done at a later time. Once the trousers were done, I painted their boots, knee pads and their body armour using Corvus Black. I left the buckles on the straps to be painted another colour at a later time. As I'm sure you can see throughout the rest of this video, these guys got very messy, very fast. But don't worry, all mistakes get covered up in the end. After painting all that tactical gear, it's time to put some colour in their cheeks. I used KD and the Flesh Tone to paint all the exposed skin on the models. Now that their skin is done, the next thing was their gloves and their watches. For these, I again used Corvus Black, however I took care when painting the gloves as they are wearing fingerless gloves and I didn't want to paint over the fingers that I've already painted in Cadian Flesh Tone. I finished off their watches with a dab of lead belcher just to cover their watch faces. I then used Mechanica Standard Grey for Nikolai's weird arm warmer things and his turtleneck. I then used Mechanica Standard Grey again, just to paint the buckles on the front of their tactical webbing. Mikhail's turtleneck was then painted with a lovely shade of Mephiston Red. After all those little fiddly bits, Carlos's mane needed to be done next. I used Mournfang Brown to adorn his shaggy hairdo, and gave the much older Nikolai a coat of Uthuan Grey for his aging locks. Luckily for us, Mikhail was still wearing his beret, so there was no need to paint his hair. These minis have got a lot more going on than Jill did, but we're almost there. Next up are the weapons. I used Abaddon Black for the guns and the handle of Nikolai's knife, then I finished them off with Lead Belcher for the assault rifle magazines and the knife blade. Right at the last second, I decided to make this harder than it needed to be and make more work for myself, and I wanted to make Carlos's shirt not completely monotone, so I used Ogryn camo just to paint the lapels. For the insignia patch on the back of their armour, I used the same colour as their uniform, Death World Forest. After that was the fiddliest thing that I think I have ever painted in my entire time during the painting hobby, the tiny umbrella logo. I used Mephiston Red for the red, and White Scar for the white. With all my messiness and mistakes covered up, shh, it's time to wash the model. This will help get into the recesses and make all the small details of the model pop out just a little bit more. With the wash now done, you can see much more of the details on their clothes, hair, and faces. I used Reichlin Flesh Shade for their skin and Nile Oil for everything else, however I tried to apply it very sparingly on the trousers, really trying only to get it into the creases and folds. The last thing to do is base them. I used the same technique I used for Jill. Astro Granite Technical on the base, washed with Null Oil, then finished with a light dry brush of Celestra Grey, so it looks like our characters are standing amongst the ash and ruins of Raccoon City. Finally, I added the blue band around the base just to signify that these guys are player characters. And there you have it. A trio of dangerous mercenaries ready to tackle the perils of Raccoon City. These guys were a real challenge to paint for me due to all of their small tiny details, but I'm really pleased actually with how they came out in the end. Thanks for watching you guys, and I really hope to see you in the next one. Stay safe out there, survivors.